Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to see about TONR. Okay, so basically it is a time accumulator. So this is a special case of T on timer which we have seen earlier. Okay, so basically what is going to happen in this timer? It is better to understand it in software first. Okay, so it is a bit complex type of thing. So better let us understand it in software itself. Okay, so it will be more clear when we are uh, observing it in the software right so here what we will be requiring is we will be making some tags right i start tag okay and then we will be having an output that is q0.0 okay so what will be the tag name here it is suppose an led okay and here we'll be showing the elapsed time that is elapsed time okay and then we are having here uh, what will be having here that is uh, double word right so d and double word here okay and we'll be giving this as md0 okay so memory double word zero okay so in this way we have created uh, three tags one more tag we will be requiring uh, that will be seen when it is required okay so what we'll do is I'll take one nano. Okay, so like previous timers only, I'm taking one nano, and then we are using this timer here. Okay, so it is asking for a DB, so I am just creating it and allowing it. Okay, and after this, I'll just take one output. Okay, so here what is required is Q0.0. Okay, Q0.0 it is okay now here elapsed time will be shown using md0 right mm. it is a md0 okay right now here if you observe what is the special thing in this timer let us see it is a start okay and we are giving some more time let us give it 20 seconds now okay so how it is working and why this r is given here so i'll tell you uh, here what is happening when you are turning on the timer okay so the output will go high after a particular time right so when you are releasing the timer still the output will remain in the high state itself okay so now when you are releasing the timer still the output is in high state so again how to turn off this output then okay so that is done using this reset so basically we'll be resetting the timer then only the output will be in the low state so again here what is uh, required is we need one more input that is a reset input so let us make one more tag inside our software our tag table okay so here we'll be requiring one reset input so i'll take one reset here and we'll be giving the address as uh, input number i0.1 right after this i will give this it as boolean right so data type is boolean sorry boolean right now what we'll do is we'll take this tag here okay so basically it is a reset tag so i am just giving it as reset right now what we'll do is i'll just download this program and try to observe what is going to happen after downloading this let us go to the monitor mode okay after monitoring uh, let us monitor it first okay so here we'll be requiring one more tag right so we are having only three tags so one more tag is which one reset right so this is our reset okay so all the tags are available here now so let us observe what is going to happen in this timer okay so when you are turning on the start input okay so i am just turning on it okay let us observe okay i have started the now this elapsed time is running okay so now 
I am just stopping it or I am releasing the input. So now if you observe, I have released the input. Okay. So after releasing the MD0, that is the timer, elapsed time has not been mm, equal to zero, right? So in earlier T on timer, what was happening? This timer becomes zero. And again, when you are giving the power, it will start from zero itself. Here it is storing that status of the time. Okay. So how, after how much time the power has been taken off, that has been stored. Okay. So that is uh, 13 seconds have been completed. So that has been stored inside this timer. So whenever you are giving the power next, so next time, it will start from the same time right so again i am giving so it will uh, remaining how many seconds are left now only seven seconds are left so it will complete its seven seconds and the output will be in the high state so let us observe see here it is starting from the next time okay so it will complete the seven seconds and the output is in high state now even if you release this okay so i am releasing the input still the output will be in the high state so now the question is how to turn off this output okay so here we are having a reset input okay so this special input is given here to in order to reset the timer so that the output goes low so when you are pressing this one see here when you are pressing it the output goes low automatically okay so in this way we are using our reset input okay so turn to turn off the output right so let us check it once again okay so i am turning on it okay now i am releasing the input okay so releasing the input is turning uh, storing the timer is storing the time which has been completed right so now again when you are starting tell start from four now again when you are stopping again it will stop now if you click on this reset input or we are just making this input as high so again the when you are resetting the elapsed time will come to rest okay so it will be zero again so let us observe here i am just giving this reset input as high okay so it will automatically go to low state see again here this has become zero milliseconds now okay now let us again start the timer okay so let uh, again i am just stopping it again i am starting it so again it is starting from the previous time itself and the output will be high after 20 seconds okay so in this way this is the timer which is available here okay so i am going off now okay so this is how we are using t on timer okay so thank you